Okay, and so in this video, I want to talk about botany's role in aromatherapy, because I think that the fundamental role that essential oils play in a plant is really going to help you to really deepen your appreciation for the science that underlines these practices and will help you in having success in your business when you understand this. This is going to be a basic overview of the interconnection between botany and aromatherapy. So the study of botany of the aromatic plants really can benefit you in understanding how essential oils work and their chemical makeup in the actual plant. Botany, it's described as a scientific study of plants which encompasses subjects such as their classification, the physical appearance, the function, the chemistry, the ecology, and even economic importance. Now, botany pursues the identity of how a plant is structured, how it relates to the environment, and its communication with other plants and organisms. And so the study and use of plants for their medicinal properties is something that has been practiced for some time in how a particular essential oil works. So when you're looking at why plants make essential oils, this is going to help you understand why they have the therapeutic properties that they do. The essential oils intelligence, and sometimes you've heard it probably around the internet, that it's the lifeblood of the plant. It's really a misnomer. It's not like the running through veins of the, of the plants. And so a plant's natural oil is what gives them a recognizable characteristic of their aroma and signature which, depending on the species, will store it in an essential oil in different parts of the plant structure. And so depending on the plant, it can be found maybe in the petals, it might be in its leaves, it could be in the rind of the fruit, it might be in the bark or the woods, even the roots. Some plants produce essential oils as part of their metabolic process. It's been estimated that only 1% of all flowering plants produce essential oils in a significant amount. Now, as plants evolved to help them survive and to produce chemical agents that could both attract pollinators or to repel predators, this is ensuring that their continuation of their species will go on. One of the first things that we look at is plants are making these essential oils as a defense. Often when an essential oil is located in the root or the bark or the leaves of a plant, it's to defend it against the predators. In other words, maybe it'll give it a bad taste in the bug's mouth and preventing them from one to be eaten. In the leaves of the plant often contains a lethal chemical compound such as terpenes and any predator that eats the leaves will either become sick or die. Another thing that I'm sure you're quite familiar with is pollination. The essential oil can be found in the flowers and the fruit in which it's produced to attract pollinators like bees. And so it's using its odor as a way to invite those particular species to come and pollinate with them. It's also producing essential oils as a way of protection against attacks of bacteria, viruses, and fungi. So the very things that we enjoy these essential oils for is the very thing that they were created for in the plant. Another thing that is really amazing is the essential oils ability to prevent other plants from growing too close to it. This is called eleothopy. And so the terpenes are restricting the growth of neighboring plants if they enter the soil on watering, for instance. Another thing is that essential oils assist the plant with antitranspirant activity, aiding them in the survival in difficult climates and conditions, such as when it's hot, dry areas. In fact, one of the things that I found so amazing was that if you ever questioned or wondered about why the mountains that are called Blue Ridge Mountains, Virginia, West Virginia, and so on, that they are blue because of the haze that they create in the early morning when they're giving off that almost like a mist or a fog and it causes the air to look sort of a bluish color, giving them that name, Blue Ridge Mountains. 
this particular environment is caused by the essential oils that are being released from the leaves. But in the other side of that is that plants in a hot area or dry areas are releasing a haze of volatile oils preventing excess water that would be from the leaves. And so in the heat of the day, essential oils evaporate, which ranges from at or above room temperature. So on a hot day, the essential oils contained within the plant are released into the air and act as a defense mechanism. A lot of studies and research into this and understanding how the essential oils play a part in the botany.